Hey guys, I'm Ani. I'm a second year student here at MIT studying computer science. I'm super excited for this video, super excited for opening up this YouTube channel. Hopefully I'm able to shed some light on what the typical day in the life of an MIT student is. The time is currently around 9.15 a.m. So I just finished showering, just finished checking some emails. So yeah, I'm gonna go grab something to eat. Let's get into it. I have a pretty busy day lined up for you guys today. My first class is at 10 and it's intro to probability. Um, currently we're learning about uh, random distributions and random variables, so that should be fun. We have an exam coming up in two days, so I think it's a good idea to uh, check it out and see if there's any important information that we get about the exam. One of my favorite things about living on a dorm on campus is just the wonderful views and the amazing location of MIT. MIT's location is basically right on the border between Cambridge and Boston. Um, which is separated by uh, the Charles River. In a nice day like this, you'll often see people running, biking, sailing on the Charles even. Currently, I'm going to Massey Dining, which is one of the dining halls on campus. There are, I want to say around six or seven dining halls. So Massey's the one that's closest to campus. So I'm going to grab something, uh, a quick bite. Welcome to Massey Hall. Generally, to get to the other side of campus, I like to take the Infinite Corridor, which is this long corridor that connects all of the buildings, well, most of the buildings on campus, so. But yeah, we're gonna go through the Infinite Corridor. And we're back. Just finished my probability lecture. Um, the time is currently exactly 11 o'clock, but I still have five minutes to get to my next class, which is linguistics, um, because here at MIT, um, things run on what we call MIT time, where essentially every class ends five minutes before it's set to end, and every class starts five minutes before it's set to start. And I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna be covering today, but it's usually a pretty fun class. So let's get into it. Looks like there's some sort of landscaping going on on campus, so there's not a lot of space out here in the alphanet. Let me show you guys something. We are currently in the banana lounge. As you can see, there's a lot of people studying in here. just finished lunch, just finished my linguistics lecture. It was a pretty fun lecture. We talked about syntax and stuff, but in all honesty, I was just like focusing on studying for my algorithms uh, midterm, which was coming up tomorrow. MIT has this PE requirement where essentially within the span of four years, you need to do four quarters of PE. We have things like fencing, sailing, archery, rifle, things like that. So super excited to show you guys the sailing pavilion. Um, so yeah. All right, so we're passing through campus right now and I wanted to draw some attention to where we are. If you follow the road all the way that direction, you get to Kendall Square. Um, to me, one of the biggest draws of being at MIT is the fact that we are quite literally in the center of innovation within Boston. So Kendall Square is the home to some of the most important biotech companies in the world. And because of that, um, MIT students have such great opportunities to do research at labs here that also directly affect these companies. So we're coming up right in front of me over here. We have the Media Lab, which does some really cool interdisciplinary research. As you walk through MIT campus, you can really see there's a lot of really interesting and innovative stuff happening here through these labs, through these professors, and that these people are interested in. I'm currently doing a Europe, which stands for Undergraduate Research Opportunities Program. Um, my professor is Kathy Liu, and we're currently working on autonomous vehicle simulation research. Um, the lab is called LIDS, and it's located in Status Center, which I showed you there before. Um, it's been a really cool experience just to interact with PhD students, master's students, and especially with the professors. There's a lot of things that you can learn as well. Um, in my year of project specifically, we talked a lot about data science and using data to train control policies for autonomous vehicles to reduce carbon emissions at intersections. So that's just like one example of some of the really cool projects that are being done here.
Today we are working on one of these big boys. I'm gonna go help them in a bit. It's, as you can see, this is a massive boat. Got you guys. The sail's going up. We're hoisting the sail. All right, so we're on the boat. We're all decked up, ready to go. Say hi, everybody. How are you guys feeling? Hi. Hello. How are you guys feeling? Good? Yeah. Yeah. All right, ready to get into the water. Let's go. Yeah. Look at that. Oh my God. This is so beautiful. Woo. I did not know this before joining like MIT's like sailing PE class, but MIT sailing actually has like a pretty long history. I think they were saying that this is the first like collegiate like sailing program, which is kind of interesting. People who have done sailing PE or done some sort of certification can even like take a boat out anytime they want, as long as they're an MIT affiliate. All right, just got out of sailing class. Today was the most fun sailing class that we had so far. Um, we took out the big boats the cat boats and it was just so much more smooth and we got like so many people on the board um super nice yeah hope you hopefully you guys enjoyed some of the footage of um how it's like out on the water I just got to hayden library this is one of my favorite study spots on campus since it's a really nice day outside you can see that the entire library is open there's like a nice courtyard outside. We also have some workspace over here, so yeah. Time's around three o'clock, so I have about four hours to work before I have to grab some dinner and uh, go to Mirchi practice. So Mirchi is the dance team that I'm on. It's a Bollywood fusion dance team, and it's a wonderful community. I'm super excited to show you guys. But in the meantime, I need to really grind for um, 6046, which is my algorithms class. Um, it should be fun, but also it is a really difficult class. So that is gonna take up most of my mental energy for the rest of the day. Hey, what you working on? I'm working on 046, which is algorithms. How have you been finding it overall? This class is supposed to be how to, like really the art and craft of algorithms. In previous classes, we've learned what basic algorithms are, basic data structures, and this class is really how to come up with original algorithms, which has been really right. cool. For my audience who might be interested in like potentially attending MIT sometime in the future, yeah. um, what are your thoughts on MIT exams? I think MIT exams are very interesting because very rarely do they require rote memorization. They require a very deep understanding of the concepts and really applying them on the exam, which is why something like a cheat sheet is really not going to help you unless you have a deep understanding of how to right. apply it to problems. The key is to do practice problems. There's no point just like reading the textbook over and over trying to just memorize notes. Yeah. The key is to practice. Yeah, really true. All right, the time's around six o'clock. So, um, I've been studying in Hayden for around three hours or so, so I'm heading back to my dorm. Um, need to charge my phone since recording all of this stuff has been a bit of a drain on my phone's battery. But apart from that, I'm also really hungry, so I'm going to hit up one of the other dining halls. Um, haven't decided which one yet, and I'm going to show you guys some food. Hopefully the dining is good today. Um, I would say that MIT dining, dining is pretty hit or miss. Hopefully today it's going to hit. All right, welcome back to McGregor, guys. It's currently 6.50, and the people at my dance team, MIT Mirchi, told me to come precisely at seven because there are some important announcements that we have to do. This practice is half a mile away. 
in that direction straight. So I'm gonna try to sprint it, see what happens, and uh, hope that I can get there in time. So it's gonna be a fun one. <laughs> I'm halfway there. I wanted to take a quick break to show off the MIT main dome, lobby 10. And right across we have the view of the Boston skyline. And here we are, Walker Memorial. I made it on time, Woo! All right, Vito, so what, what do you think compelled you to join Mirchi this year? Just over this year, I've gotten a stronger interest in dance. And like, right. I did like a hip hop class, like some Bollywood in the summer. And um, I've just got more interested in like in joining this team. It seems like a really fun team as well. Yeah. So I'm audition and I was happy to get in. And yeah. it's, it's been fun ever since. Awesome, yeah. How's the experience been so far? So far it's been uh, definitely a little a little demanding, you know, we like we have a couple of practices. But it's definitely like a fun time. Like we like learn a choreo one day, yeah. we'll like clean it the next day, right. and maybe like revise the choreo or like mm -hmm. do like um, new, new touches yeah. on it. So it's like, um, and you know, also we have like, of course we have like the social events, Bonnie and all of that. So right. it's also a nice touch to it. Yeah. Um, not only is it like, like everyone like cares for each other. Not only do yeah. we love to dance, but we also like, right. are like bonded together. Hey guys, so this is Ritika and Charvi, captains at MIT Mirchi. What is Mirchi? Mirchi is the competitive Bollywood fusion team at MIT. And we basically do a bunch of different styles and we compete like across the country. So we travel in the spring. In this circuit called DDM. Yes. Awesome, yeah. What does DDM stand for? Dancing Dance Network. And it's with a bunch of other colleges. It's super fun. How do you guys like balance school? Obviously you guys are very busy people with being captains of such a wonderful, such a hardworking dance team. I think having a co-captain yeah. changes it a lot. Aww. Aww. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> it can be hard to manage, but I feel like after being at MIT for two years, like you learn the ropes a bit and then like right. having people to lean on really right. helps. Right. Yeah. No, that's and super cool. Any last things you want to say? We love you and subscribe. Subscribe! <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so much. All right, guys, just finished with an awesome practice at Mirchi. I also think that the team really took it up a notch. We have audition videos for competitions that we're gonna apply to in a couple of weeks. So because of that, we're really kicking into full throttle and really trying to get our choreo down as soon as possible so that we're good to go for competitions and auditions. So the time's around 9.15, so I'm really exhausted for the day, as you can see. I've been going back and forth and back and forth, and I think now is really just a good time to go back to my room, take a shower, and yeah, just chill. I'll see you guys on the other side. <laughs> Hey! Very cool. And we're back. Thank you guys so much for joining me on my day. It was super fun. I'm super exhausted. As you guys can see, it was a super eventful day, but um, I think right now I'm just gonna take a shower, get ready to essentially go to bed and then study for a few hours before going to bed. I really appreciate each and every one of you guys for tuning in and joining me today. If you guys enjoyed this video, it would be super dope if you guys could drop a like and subscribe to my channel so that I can keep making content about tech, CS, college, and MIT life. See you guys in the next one. Peace.